I'm not saying don't rap how you rap, my nigga, but make some shit we can vibe to. Sounded like a real nigga anthem. Charlie saw my wallet, now she think a nigga answer. Whoa, tell that bitch she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ashley, and today I'm finally, 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 after two years, doing an update on the Hellcat. Last time I did a video. I, so in the last video, I thought the last video that I did was when I did my Be Witty intake install and I was wrong. It was the, like, everybody asked me how I got my cars, so I just made like a little video how I got my cars at 19, or car at 19, um, but yeah, two years. It's been a while. Um, when I did that install video, my car was stock. I think the only thing that I did at the time was the intake. I don't even think I put my shifter in which I'll show you guys right now, but I'm just gonna go over like everything that I've done to the car. And it's not really much, but it is very, not very, I mean, visually not very different, but it is different than what it was two years ago. So let's pop the hood so I can start in order, hopefully, if I remember um, the exact order. It's absolutely dusty. There is like construction galore around my workplace, so. Here she is, super dusty. Look at that, still rocking the same hood with a uh, faded paint. Okay, engine bay's all clean, it's looking good. Okay, so first thing I did was the intake. This is a five inch B Woody intake, love it. It winds like crazy now, super nice. Then after that, I think the second thing I did was get headers. I got JBA, I cheaped out. I probably should have got Cooks. I kind of regret it, but I mean, it sounds nice. I got JBA long tubes with catless mid pipes. Did a resonator and, and mif mid muffler delete. I don't remember if it's the same thing. I don't remember. So basically straight piped, except for the rear mufflers back here. Right there. And then I got it tuned by Tim Barth. I swapped my PCM with an unlocked one and got that all done. Also, I did not do my headers myself. My friend Brian, Phoenix426 on Instagram, did my headers and the rest of my exhaust, and he did other work as well that I'll mention right now. Okay, I lied, I completely forgot to show this, but I also got drag springs installed on all four. Brian installed those, and he also installed my B. Woody Short sway bar and links, which helped a lot. It handles way better now, and the reason I got the springs is so that my radials don't rub my fenders. And then one more thing too, I installed a 180 degree thermostat and got it tuned for that as well. Then, okay, I don't know the order after this. I'm pretty sure I do, hold on. Uh, you know what, I think before my exhaust, it was right after I had COVID. I had COVID for like five weeks. So like I was in my room locked up for five weeks and I was looking at mods, made my mod list and everything. So I I saw the Barton shifter and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have it because the gears before were like super long. I should have done an install video on this. I think it took me like 14 hours. It was kind of frustrating, but now that I've done it, I could like definitely do it again. I had to take out the whole center console. It wasn't too bad. I think it was pretty cool. And then I got this carbon fiber, it's actually real carbon shifter on Amazon. And I kept the Martin shifter, it's somewhere at home. But yeah, I love the shifter, it shifts so nice. The gears are like literally this short. The only thing that I had to do afterwards was take one of the springs out on this side because reverse and six gear was like way too close. And I was like too scared to like get into reverse instead of six gear. And it was really hard to get into six gear too. So I did that, and then I got a billet oil catch can. Love this thing, it works great. I got it in white to match the intake. And then, what else did I do? Not really much, honestly. I got SXT badges for the front grille and the rear, but before I got these SXT badges, I had just SXT Plus in the back, and then after I found SXT, I put that on the front and the back. I got them on Amazon too, and then I also got these on Amazon, white Hellcat badges. I had thought about painting my brake calipers white, but I don't know, because I do, I will talk about this. Sorry for the wind noise, by the way, I'll probably, I should probably get back in the car for a split second. I'll talk about what I want to do with this car. So even before I got the vet, I kind of always wanted to wrap this car. I know I wanted to wrap my own vehicle, which I ended up doing with the vet. You guys can watch the last video for that, but 
I didn't know how I wanted to wrap it, but like first thing I did with this car was get it ceramic coated. That's the first thing I did. Like literally not even like a week after having the car probably, I was like, okay, as soon as I got it, like I w So I got this car in California and then literally halfway home, I hit up the guy that detailed the car. I was like, hey, I need my car corrected and coated and then got that done. Which two years later, the coating is still doing really well. So I don't know if I want to get it removed or not to wrap it. But then again, I don't know how I want to wrap it. I wanted my cars to be matching, right? But I was like, ah, you know, the car is coated. Can't really do both right now. So I went ahead and did the vet with the triple camo. And yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I want a wide body kit, OEM. I want to wrap it. And I really want a cowl carbon fiber hood. Really want that. Kind of need it because my hood has like a really, it has a bad paint job, I won't lie. It's like faded really bad. Wax isn't going to save it. Oil based products aren't going to save it. The sun just eats it away, anyways. Um, so, yeah. I think I might, if I, when, if I get that hood, I'm just going to keep this one and keep wrapping it for Christmas every year or something. Um, yeah, anyways, moving on. Oh, I don't know why I did this, but I got like a whole carbon fiber plastic, you know, carbon fiber kit from Amazon for the whole interior. I hated it and I kept the handles here because I'm like kind of scared to take it off because when I took off the steering wheel piece, a bit of the finish came off. But it's fine, only I can see that, I guess. But yeah, I took that off and then, oh, I also got these cool carbon fiber pieces for my gas cap and my antenna. And then, oh, I tinted my tail lights. I know you guys know this from Instagram. I've done this like three times. And then for this Christmas, my brother got me this Z01 add-ons diffuser, which is sick and it's actually functional. But yeah, not really much of a change just little updates basically just intake exhaust tune not really a whole lot oh i also tinted my headlights with lux auto same as the tail lights as lux auto carbon fiber handle wraps i'm pretty sure that's lux auto i also got this meme frames frame plate which is really cool love it also tinted i tinted like any, everything on this car uh tinted reflectors all over the car, all over the car. The only thing I need is ceramic tan. But yeah, here she is, all pretty. One more thing I forgot to mention, I actually got 315 Mickey Thompson E Street, ET Street tires, and they're extremely, extremely wide. I think they're 11 by 17, I'm not too sure. It literally sticks out like right here and it rubs my fenders so that's one of the reasons I want to go wide body but one thing I also want to do is that my suspension get a drag pack suspension thing kit that way I don't rub and that way I can fit my radials and not have to worry about going wide body but I really want to go wide body just because I love the way it looks but yeah that's pretty much it not really too much of a difference but yeah that's all I have let me know what you guys want to see I I'm like so bad at posting videos it's literally been two years um and i i kind of have to know i have to i have two cars I'm not doing much with them just posting on instagram um i work a lot so we'll see what happens see you guys in the next video